Well, a lot of Ava's story this season seems to be about finding how she fits in with the legends, mm. um, what's her place besides being Sarah's girlfriend. And yeah. meanwhile, Sarah and Ava have been really happy for a while. And that doesn't usually tend to always be the case with dramatic shows. So yeah. how, how do you feel about like how that storyline is going forward and where that's going to go? I feel pretty blessed that they let that happen. Yeah. Like, there's a point where I think relationships like this on television these days becomes, like, a formulaic situation like this, and to just, like, let it be is weird, and I think it was kind of necessary this season to yeah, let We it wanted be. to give each of our wonderful actresses storylines that had more to do just than with the relationship, and you know, and I think we came to you and we're like, like I don't want to break up with her again. Yeah. My heart, like my heart can't take it. Like why? What? And why are we doing that? Like that's a toxic relationship on anybody's. Right. You know, at TV, yeah. TV Thank or you. not, right? Like it's it's a point where you're like, all your friends are like, you're done. Like break up. Like I'm tired of you know answering your crying phone calls. And they really just let it breathe. Yeah. I think it's also. I mean. A, we're always inspired in the room by what's going on in our personal lives and a lot of, of us course. are married or in relationships and happy and, happy. and you yeah. want to kind of tell those stories where it doesn't have to be about the will they won't they but just like this is what it's like to be in a working relationship it's not easy but you yeah. know it can be fun and, and there's so much else going on in this show <laughs> yeah. that you're like I don't know where you fit it in <laughs> like, what are you supposed to do with it like, it is nice to see a functional, non-straight relationship on TV last a while, And just too. chill. Yeah. And just, you know, Netflix and chill it. <laughs> but, like, just, just let it be. Yeah. And from, like, a story and character standpoint regarding that, um, what do you think it is about these two characters that allows them to sort of just exist and be happy together and not have to do... I think there's a deep respect for each other's, you know, talents and the leadership qualities each woman have. I mean, I, I, we do, as the season progresses, I think Ava gets to feel more and more a part of the team and mm -hmm. more and more, you know, co-equal with Sarah on the team. And that was important to us because, you know, they're both great as leaders and we wouldn't want to, you know, necessarily ever write away from that. Well, I think her being on the ship was really weird, but you didn't make a big deal out of it, which was great. Like. Obviously, there are politics and semantics that happen. Like, we lost the time bureau set. <laughs> so, like, well, time bureau's got to collapse because it's, like, something we got to build hell. <laughs> so, you know, like, stuff happens where you, like, you, you guys are constantly writing around things that happen just on a production standpoint. And, um, what we're kinda, and, and I think you did a great job of just... I, I didn't feel like it was a weird transition. Yeah. I don't know, did you? I didn't feel No, and I also feel like in this political moment when so many people are asking, like, could we ever have a female president? I mean, I feel like we have two, you know, basically two captains on our show now who are both strong women, and you have some guy like Rory who's not, you know, the most politically correct. <laughs> 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 I think he really just respects them and take it for granted. And I hope that in some way maybe this could <laughs> lead to, or at least inspire people to believe that it's possible to have a woman be the captain, be the leader, be a president, and not make such a big deal of it and just have it exist. Yeah. 